channel today we're gonna to be talking about all the mods and stuff that we have done to the 250 without you guys being present for it uh, recently we've been really busy with college work and anything else family issues my granddad just got out of the hospital finally so thank God for that uh, so we're, we're based we're getting back on our feet slowly so as soon as we get everything the ball rolling and everything squared away and we're ready to do stuff then um, we'll, we'll be able to get some more content rolling out for you guys so hopefully and thank you guys for being patient with us I really do appreciate that it you know you guys aren't really pushy about next upcoming content or anything like that so we really do appreciate that uh, just a little update for you guys we are gonna have a uh, A&M cycles video coming out soon so be sure to stay posted for that I can't wait to show off Travis or not Travis Kyle shop because Kyle he, he's such a great guy he helps us out with almost everything that we do and if we have a question or anything like that he'll help us with it like right off the tip of our tongues so we can get it and get it squared away so it's just really nice to have someone who can help us out with it so if you do just be sure to go contact him and let him know uh, swing by check him out get some stuff from him you can get everything ranging from uh, air filters to uh, the SC the SC-1 stuff that we use to put on our bikes to make sure it's easy to clean but yeah so that's basically everything we've got spread away for this video so without further ado let's pray for today's video and then we'll get right into the content so let's pray Dear, uh, Father God, thank you so much for everything you bless us with. Thank you for giving us breath in our lungs and giving us a chance to do things and be able to have things and do stuff because, God, we wouldn't be anywhere without you. God, I pray that you watch over us as we uh, do today's video and everything that we've got squared away for today. I pray that you bless everyone who's watching and bless our channel. And thank you so much for everything you've blessed us with. In your holy precious name, I pray. Amen. Let's get it. Right off the bat, we added these Nerf bars. Uh, they're not too, like, they're not brand name. In fact, they're still damp from cleaning it earlier. Uh, we just bought them off Amazon, so if you guys are interested in doing something like that, just be sure to go just swing by and type in 250 or Honda TRX 250X Nerf bars, and you'll get it right there. One thing that we did get that was named brand was a K&M air filter. This one right here is still dirty, really bad, and also split right here revealing the drum on the inside so we had to fix that as quickly as possible uh, basically to explain how to install this real quickly there's there's a little rubber rubber bit right here at the back right there same thing on this one so it fits with the stock one and then you just had to tighten that little vice grip thing in the at the top it's not a vice grip I don't know what I'm talking about anymore bro it's been a long day already anyway this is what it is. We also got this off Amazon. Most of the stuff that we buy is off Amazon, which is why it's kind of hard to link it. Another thing that we did get, which was super cool, is the uh, DG exhaust. In fact, let me see if I can crank it up real quickly. Probably going to have to put the airbox back on here. Give me just one moment. We'll be right back. All right. So if you guys haven't been a part of our Instagram or anything like that, then you have no idea what this sounds like. Which is interesting because we have it on uh, like almost every social media. Anyway. So good.
bit of like a low growl to it. Cause don't get me wrong, the spark arrester and removing that bit was really good. But this is like, if that was like a six out of 10, this is at least an eight out of 10. Like it's, it's marginally a little bit better. Um, so yeah, the other thing that we did was a dyno tune. Actually, uh, if you, well, I don't have the parts with me right now cause it's still in my dad's truck. But if you guys are interested in that, Stay tuned because Kyle is going to be putting this in because, you know, with the way that recording works, we can do stuff at the same time and you guys not know about it. Yay! Anyway, so we actually have that installed right now. Basically what he did is, um, here, let me just move you guys again. Actually, what we did is we removed the air box and as soon as we removed the air box, we basically took this little gasket right here out and uh, he basically took the dial pin out of it. And I believe the stock one that we have on here right now is still the 95. He said the smallest one that he had was 100, but we didn't get a chance to get that. So basically we stuck with the 95 and then took all of the stuff, the components on the inside of it, and tweaked it as we needed to. So I mean, it, it basically... Well... He is redneck, so we basically just red redneck reingified everything. We took the because the dial pin or the dial pin that was in there with it was ninety or ninety two, and it would have been smaller, so it wouldn't have been given as much gas as we needed to. So we just basically left the same one that was in there, and then so now there's more air, there's more fuel, and there's a better sound to it, which is the reason why we need more air and more fuel. So basically. We've just added a couple of a uh, couple of things just to make it run smoother, and we got a chance to ride it a little bit while we were there, which is why I'm excited about because I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like or what it sounds like and feels like riding it. It's it feels like a whole new machine, just with the power and the stuff that we can do with it now. Um, if anyone remembers when we first got the Raptor, and uh, when you would floor it or like tap it or like basically go goose it goose it a little bit. Um, you would get the front end to raise because of the suspension and how it was set up. Well, with the RFY shocks and like the fact that the stock suspension, you wouldn't be able to do anything like this where you just push it down and you get the cushion like you need to. Basically, with the compression and how things are set up, if you goose it in any gear, you'll be able to like basically almost pop a wheelie with it, which is really good. So now there's more, there's more like horsepower going to it in each of the gears. We still haven't been able to find the uh, the top gear to it. I think the last time we checked it was like over there in the field that we have uh, where, we, where we're located at. Um, the closest we got to it was like 43, 44, 45, that little speed bracket area. So uh, I'm interested to see where it's at now. Um, I bet it's probably gonna be somewhere in the 50s because obviously that's probably where it's gonna be at, but I can't think of anything, um, but yeah. If you guys want to know anything about how to install most of these parts, uh, be sure to comment and we'll make a video based off of it. But other than that, we just wanted to show off some of the stuff and things we've done to the 250. So yeah, uh, that's all I've got for today's content. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the, if you did like it, just be sure to like it. And if you didn't like it, be sure to let us know how to make things better. Uh, subscribe if you're new and uh, be sure to share the content with people that might like it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. What's up, Wheeler Bros? I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed, and I want to say a huge thank you to your support. It has meant the world to us. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It's free. You can change your mind at any time. Plus, it helps out the channel. If you guys want to stay connected with us throughout everything we do, please be sure to go follow our links in the description down below. And uh, yeah. Speaking of description, we have links in our description all the way from parks that you guys have seen on the channel, all the way down to our our biggest supporter, Mr. Travis True at Skyline Signs. And as always, I like to say a huge thank you, and uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.